So what you can also do inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro is import out 3D models. So to do that, first of all, you need to go to your library and then over here you can create a folder of your choice. But I'm just going to go on to 3D models right here itself and I'm going to right click. So here I'm going to click on import files. And now what you can do is you can go around over here onto the folder where you have your 3D model. And here you can see that I have um, an OBJ object right here, which I'm going to click on open. And here it prompts me to convert it into an FBX format, which is the standard format that you require uh, in order to work around with 3D models inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So I'm going to go around, click OK, and then what happens is that a laptop computer has been imported, as you can see. Similarly, I'm going to import files right here. And in my case, I'm going to go to download where I have a cardboard box model right here, which I'm going to open uh, and check this convert to XBX format. And you'll be able to see that over here as well. So all you need to do in order to bring the 3D model onto the working area is click and drag this out. So here you can see that you can render this to 2D or use this as a 3D model. So I'm just going to use this as a 3D model itself. So you don't see anything right now, but if I were to zoom out, you can see a laptop model is here. So you can see that right now layer transform is selected. If I were to select this, then nothing happens. But if I were to go to layer transform right here, you can see that what you can do is you can go around and uh, move around the center point right here or you can go around and resize this out over here as well by clicking. So you can see that you can really go around and resize it onto a particular space. You can go around, rotate this out right here, and you can see the 3D model right here. You can use these arrows right here to place them wherever you want as well. And there you go, you have your 3D model right here as you can see. Similarly, there's this cardboard box. You can click and drag this out, and same goes for that as well. So you can see that you can go around, drag it anywhere, but I want to resize this. So you can go around, rotate this. You can go around and resize this right here. So you know, uh, I'm just going to go around and click right here. So there you go. This is what you have. So now uh, I'm going to go around and then uh, just go around, click and resize this to place it on my canvas right here. So there you go. Let me just go around over here and resize this over here. Let me just go around and you can see that I can push this and there you go. So if I were to go around, click and drag this, you can see that this is what you have. Let me just press space and drag this. And you can see that I can keep this right here and place this anywhere I want. So if you want to keep 3D models on your storyboard itself, then, then you can see that it's easy as this. You can work around with the transformation and so forth right here, uh, just like this. And on the tool properties, you can see that you can also add in keyframes to these right here as well. So you can add in keyframes right here. Uh, you can go around over here onto uh, the end right here, just like this. And you can go around, uh, change around and have a bit of animation over here as well, as you can see. So you can see that Toon Boom Storyboard Pro is very, very powerful in this way as well. And that is how you can import out 3 objects and work around with it inside of Toon Boom Storyboard Pro. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.